Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of us building Paradise and Planet 2. Today we are building the Binturong and Barrel Habitat. Of course, both the Binturongs and the Barrels aren't part of Planet 2. So we are replacing them with doll sheep and red pandas because it worked quite well for this island and it was an idea of Turpa that I really liked, which I just implemented like we, we had a little discussion during the stream while I was building this, so go check it out on Twitch if you want to. And we were discussing this and we ended up at like really discussing it and deciding that yeah, well, we do already have the doll sheep and the red pandas, but it just works for this island and we, we wouldn't really know which animal that would fit otherwise that Planet Zoo does offer. So that's what we went with. So what we are building right now is the wall next to it. It's just it's just a wall. I don't like what I think is behind it or you can't really see anything behind it because I think it's just like some forest and then behind that is a little square where you can sit and have a picnic if you want to. So we are not building something that's square yet. We're just gonna leave that open so this window like doesn't really show anything interesting at the moment, but it will probably have something interesting later. So we're just like what we did with this wall to get some thickness is just get like four, huh, four walls next to one another and then give them some windows to to mask the like to give it a little bit of extra detail and then to mask the like the the way that when, when you put these four walls together you get a little bit of a shimmer and you get these edges and we just wanted to mask that so sometimes you'll see me go back to like Google Street View some images that I found and then there's one other image that I showed you in the beginning of the episode which was a um, a picture that Kerba also sent through us which he found on the internet from the zoo and I didn't really have any proper pictures um, so I just kind of imagined like what it would be and I just like tried zooming in to the picture to get really an idea a good idea of what it looks like in in real life I don't think I've seen that island this the last time I went to Paradisa. just I don't know it was COVID rules and, and you had to follow certain directions and I think we just ended up not going there so at first you saw me like use a null barrier but apparently the dog and sheep can swim so they would constantly escape so then next thing I did is just replace it with a normal barrier but on that picture you know, at the beginning of the episode you could see that it was just like a bamboo uh, like bamboo wall I guess it's just so I started creating that custom wall as well with bamboo so at first I just placed some and then I mean I copied a group of them and ended up just going around the whole island which I think ends up quite nice especially at the end of the episode when the, mm, the island is filled with like a lot of green stuff and all in all, I mean, the bamboo looks quite nice once we get rid of the, um, the like, the real barrier. Um, you'll see that it looks quite all right. Um, so at first, I just, I'm just checking if the doll sheep, if it actually stopped the doll sheep from swimming, because I wasn't sure if, like, a custom barrier would also work that way. I guess it's, it's logical that it does, because, I mean, on land it works as well to stop, like, red pandas from climbing or, or animals from jumping to the other side. So of course it did work in the end and I'm, I'm very happy that it did because like as I said once the episode is like at the end of the episode we'll see that it looks quite nice in my opinion and I mean it looks like real life. I don't know if like the whole island is circumvented with the with the bamboo but certainly like the, the beginning of the episode or the, the beginning of the island is like completely surrounded with um, with bamboo and I just like drew it further to like have it towards the old island which kind of makes sense to me and then we just like we're adding some reeds at the beginning adding some more rocks because i really really don't like the terrain so we're usually using these uh tiger rocks but i think i mean i've been using these tiger rocks for the whole for quite a long time now and i think at the end of the or well half halfway through the episode i switch to temperate rocks and I think like a mixture of the temperate rocks and the tiger rocks is the best way to go. Speaking about rocks, I wanted to address a comment I had on my last video that that big rock was indeed not lush enough and I do realize that it isn't like it isn't very lush at the moment. I added a few plants here and there and it does look a lot better. I'll like once this whole thing is finished I'm going around the like I'll, I'll make an episode just to go around the whole thing. Um, like the, the hallway, the, the Chinese or the Asian part 
and you'll see that it's it's become a little more lush i added a lot of plants here and there where i could but the issue i had with it is i had to really try to figure out where to place the plants because the rock like the where um where the animals could climb was very hard to figure out on the rock and once i started adding in plants it would like interfere with the like the traversability of the of the rocks and it was already very hard so i didn't make it too lush last time I did a little bit last stream um, to like to try to to get it better, and it does look a lot more lush right now than it did in the episode last time. So I, I'm hoping you'll you'll like it. It's not as lush as it is in real life, definitely not. But I mean, we we added a little bit, and it looks a lot more green. And I'm trying to like up my up my greenery game because it's. I mean, I think plants you really really requires a lot of a lot of greenery throughout and that's what i try to do with this island as well so so that if you if you're uh, seeing this video then i hope you're uh, you're appreciative of my efforts to, to get it more lush and yeah i hope you you enjoy this this episode as well and then on the other comments i would like to address as well is that there are indeed some issues with like again on this island we're using animals that we already have in the zoo so we don't have a lot of visitors coming this way. I'm just I've I've been going through through the animal list and so far I haven't really found a way or an animal that would suit this area. So I'm gonna like for now at least I think I might change it later and maybe hope for for other DLCs. So what what I'm gonna do for now is just to keep it the way it is, and then once we like we've built the temple behind there and then. I hope that will attract a lot of people once the um, the normal pandas are, are in here. I think like once we attract people to the pandas, then they will naturally walk through this area as well, and they will naturally like come and visit them. So for now, I'm just I'm not really gonna worry about it because like I run the game in pause mode most of the time just to like get a lot less lag and, and just like lag spikes. So for now, I'm not too worried about it, and I'm just gonna keep it the way it is set up right now. But I think, like in the end, I will take your like take your comments into account and change the animals. I'm just not gonna be like not gonna be fiddling around with it at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's just my my way of thinking at the moment. Just to like because it doesn't really matter at the moment because it's it's still. Like even if I played other, uh, I placed other animals. I think I doubt that people would come this far to see them because they really don't like to walk this far. I've I've noticed like a huge drop of people like visiting the the animals at the beginning of the park compared to the animals at the end of the park, even if it's like the first time they're in here. So I think uh, the first thing I have to I have to take care of before I actually start building it, or b before I actually start um, changing up the animals, is I gotta have some like transportation modes, like the the train that we haven't finished yet. So I think that's like a first concern that we have to do, and then afterwards we can we can worry about like actually changing the animals and making sure it's uh, it's making sure that they actually come go over here so yeah that's a bit of my like my way of thinking so i hope you, you can agree with this and then yeah that's um that's a bit of, of what i've been uh, what i've been what i've been working on and what i've been what i've been sitting on so on to the next comment is that yeah for the password um we do have a lot of those edges uh, at the edge uh, at the end of the terrain i'm going around like here and there to, to fix these issues and then yeah we'll we'll work about, we'll work that out like as we go and I, i've like i've started learning a little more about the rain and about how, how it all works because i'm not the most experienced plant zoo builder so it's just i'm it's something i'm working on constantly and and it'll get better over time so what i'm doing now let's, let's switch back to this episode a little bit is i've built a shelter for like i've built a little climbing frame for the red pandas already but right now I'm building a little shelter for the um, for the, the goats or the, the doll sheep, and then for this I'm like I made a little raised platform with some bedding on there, just to like in winter Belgian winter animals or well it's it seems only logical that you'd like make a little platform 
raised from the ground so the animals don't have to like sleep next to frozen ground it's the same thing you do if, if you if you have some chickens or, or something you, you usually make a raised platform so they can sleep off the ground um, for chickens so that's of course for other reasons as well but I mean it's it only helps to the cold I mean there's a reason why why you sleep in, in a bed and not just have your mattress on the ground because it's just it's it keeps you a little bit protected from the cold and that's what I wanted to to do with these sheep as well and it's it's kind of worked out and then now we're back to like detailing mostly adding some like features for the animals to play with just checking out like where where can they walk where where they can't um, it's not 100% accurate because like some of these beams don't have lines where, where the pandas can walk but they actually do as we see later on in like while building it so yeah I think it's right here that beam doesn't like where the the back panda and panda is walking on it didn't have a traversable line but the panda does walk on it eventually so I think we're like we're nearing the end of the episode and the end of building it we're just adding some more lush greenery so the island doesn't seem as empty as it does we end up um, filling up the left side with rocks already and I think I'm gonna go around the island and just around like the, the outside as well with some rocks and some extra plants right now we've only done the left side and the island itself and we're gonna like I'm gonna continue onto the right side as well but I didn't really have time for uh, for finishing that so you'll see me now just like finishing up the island having some final touches and then at the end we'll just show a little bit of a of a clip of the of the pandas and the and the sheep walking around so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode guys i will see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see me like continue building plants too um so yeah this what i'm doing right now is the first time i actually like played around with mossy rocks or i've tried playing around with them before like before in, especially in the oasis but I felt like it, I wasn't like I never was very good at it because I didn't really understand when it was moss and when it wasn't and where where moss what rocks would fit like for once I, I I didn't really know where it would go. But then like putting them on the on the bottom of this like this lake river thingy, um, it, it felt like it would make sense to have like mossy rocks where just some stuff would grow on the bottom of of this lake compared to just having it as, a, as the dry terrain it was it looked a lot it looks a lot better than it used to and i think that's that's um, a very good way to, to use it i don't really know like next to waterfalls and stuff like that i'm not i don't think i'm, I'm ready to or i have the knowledge how to how to use that next to water and or next to waterfalls i think mostly like it's on the on the bottom of, of rivers or or on, on lakes that it does it does work to be to be a mossy rock or to use a mossy rock and, and that's what I'm, I'm gonna continue using it for so that's another thing I'm gonna go around the the whole like all the water and I'm gonna like add moss rocks and then maybe some, some little smaller islands around this this lake just to get a little bit of variety and I think that will work out very well so guys this is the end of the, of the episode let's look at the habitat a little more and then i will see you in the next one i hope you enjoyed it and bye